So time for the April update. And the front bed is almost starting to look as I envisaged it. In that it's sort of big fluffiness of blue and white, although not very much white at the moment, but the bugle here is coming into flower very nicely. I haven't actually seen the bees going for it much, considering they're allegedly supposed to really like it, but I'm sure they'll discover it eventually. Uh, the periwinkle, you can see it's still lots of growth over the wall on this one, but this one is only just reaching the edge of the wall. I did say that one, the others aren't even quite that far. Um, Let's see, we've got a caterpillar on here. If I can get it in focus. Um, so I don't really want caterpillars eating all my plants. But then I do want butterflies, so I suppose I'll have to look at it. Uh, so yeah, other periwinkle. Another one tucked under here, just coming out here. Medwarp is flowering extensively and uh, I really don't remember it flowering quite this extensively last year so it seems a bit of a trend that I'm really seeing a lot of this year that things don't flower as much in their first year uh, hopefully they'll get better so here's a couple of examples of the periwinkle white flowers Thanks. for some reason only the white flowered ones have flowered at all this year the blue ones just never never managed to forgive me while I get distracted by this pollinator the other, the other thing of note up here, something's gone in, that's a shame. Yeah, there's the sun. Get me nots. So I planted like 15 or 20 of these little plug plants last year. Um, most of them sort of here, which I think was a bit cramped too close to the bugle considering how vigorously this is spreading but never mind hopefully they'll survive there and then some more over here uh, that one's flowering there's some others next to it that aren't flowering and then I planted a load more throughout the bed but they all otherwise seem to have died or else are not flowering and I don't recognize them as forget-me-nots because to be honest that doesn't look massively different to this to me because I'm so inexpert here we've got these white truffle things coming back up which is good sages um, it's good that they survived the frosts but the leaves are looking a bit yellowy and dry and small and unhappy so I don't know if they need more water or something. I've watered them a bit the last few days. Hopefully they'll be alright. Um, not sure what else to report on over here. The dandelion really sort of spoils the overall look. But I read somewhere that bees rely on dandelions for nectar before everything else starts flowering. So I've left it there. Here is the Alstromeria that clearly hasn't died, uh, even though I thought it had. And while I'm here, I'll just show you this wallflower, almost flowering. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I thought had died, but it turns out it hasn't, is this fuchsia. Interestingly, half of it sort of has died, so I don't know if you can really see 
from here, but this branch has obviously got leaves on. But this one, oh, is that one tiny leaf coming out now? Maybe that branch hasn't died. But mostly it looked as if it had. No, it is getting tiny leaves now. Okay, I keep declaring things dead and then they prove to not be dead. That's good news anyway. This is also pretty good news. This uh, clem. That's it. One strand of it has actually reached the top of the shed already. Um, I'd love to carry on this excursion around the garden, but it is now uh, two minutes until I have a meeting, so better wrap it up. Primrose, uh, they're feeling pretty good, except for the fact they really want yellow things in that bed. I do want yellow things in this bed, and there's absolutely no flowering early in the season in this bed. So really, that would be good if I moved it or duplicated it. Anyway, I'm going to be late for my meeting. If I think of anything else, I will have to do a little add-on. But for now, blue stuff flowering, not too bad.